Hi everyone, it's about Sean. Welcome back to another Epic 7 video. In this video, I want to talk about ring and necklaces, where to get them. So you realize that ring and necklaces and boot are the only items that give you percentage stats. Compared to the left side, you will see flat stats and you know exactly what you have for each individual item. So where can you get these badass ring and necklaces? There are three main sauce right now that you can get access to ring and necklaces. Four main sauce, okay? Not three. The first one being the accessory chest in the shop. So you can only buy this chest with ancient coins. That's the only way to buy this chest, ancient coins. This will give you a random accessory with a random stat. So it's super random. Oh, I think I just got something nice. <laughs> So where do you get ancient coins when you go to battle? The only way to get ancient coins right now is in the labyrinth. Every time you clear the labyrinth, you get a certain amount of ancient coins. You can get it by opening chests in the labyrinth. And when you complete the labyrinth, you get some extra ancient coins. And in the labyrinth itself, they can drop rings or necklaces. And then you can use ancient coins to exchange for more. Another way to get ancient coins is in high command in the Hun mission. In order to have access to hunt mission, you need to build the left building. So I recommend you build at least one. If you can actually build more to get better mission, do so. But you only need to build one to get access to the most basic, the 30 minute duration hunt mission. It gives you three ancient coin. And if you have a lot of time and you pay attention to the game, please make sure you do the 30 minute duration hunt mission because you look at it. Every 30 minutes, you get 3 Ancient Coins. Every 1 hour, you get 5 Ancient Coins. So, in the long run, it's better to do the 30 minute duration. But if you don't really pay attention to the game, and you can't really refresh the mission every 30 minutes, just do the long one. Like, if you look at this one, the 6 hour one gives you 21k gold. If you do a bit of math, you realize that you'd rather do the 30 minute one that give you more gold. But you waste more energy, and you need to look at the game every 30 minutes. So that's another way to get ancient coins. I recommend you to have at least one team all the time getting ancient coins. You can't really craft it in a steel workshop, which is so stupid. You can't really farm it in a hunt mission. It's so limited. Like these ring and necklaces, they're so, they're so limited. The third way, so there are two ways, farm labyrinth, get from the shop, the third way is to get from merchant. Test your luck. It can be this guy, it can be the other guy that you meet along the way in the map, in labyrinth, all that good stuff. I recommend you rank up as soon as possible and upgrade this guy as much as possible. So he will give you at least tier five Looking rings, even if it's not, even if it's a, whichever you prefer. shut up. <laughs> even if it's gray color, you can get percentage stats and percentage stats is so so much better than flat stats okay so try your best to upgrade this guy they'll sell you ring they'll sell you necklaces they'll give you good stats they'll even sell you boots like this one doesn't look too bad actually the fourth way and these necklaces look so sick am i right they are from the abyss okay this one this one the whole life steel set that my sets is using these so good right you can only get them from the abyss and the higher floors. So do your best to get access to all these goodies free from the abyss right here. So four ways. This shop, the normal shop that you can buy with ancient coin. This guy, the secret shop oh, that you buy with gold. Well, you can also find these merchants along the way in the map. And soon. you can farm in labyrinth. You can farm the item itself in labyrinth. They will drop somewhere. And in the abyss. That's pretty much it. I hope They'll introduce more way for you to get ring and necklaces because they are the equipment that will make your unit so much stronger because they provide percentage stat. Alright guys, if you find this kind of short guy helpful, let me know down in the comment section below. Currently right now, I'm having many 5 star because I want to make as many units as possible to test dungeon now to make sure that I understand the dungeon mechanic correctly and also find the optimal team for you guys. Oh, yeah. I have two summon to do. To the infinite library. I want Cecilia more than Valdred. Okay, Cecilia, let's go, baby. 
<sighs> I just I just asked another friend to play. He re-roll. He got like five net five and fifteen re-roll. I'm like, what the hell? Where's my net five, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Whoever I get to play this game just gets so lucky. Come on, come on. Give me a yellow color. I don't need net five, I just need yellow. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Nah. Oh god. We'll save up for more summer in the future, okay? Yikes. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video as soon as possible. Bye!